So uh, social network analysis is basically, uh, it's been around for decades, uh, since, the, since the 70s or even before. Uh, it's been used a lot in sociology and in intelligence. It's been used in, uh, in crime, preven crime prevention, in, in the study of gangs, uh, organized crime, and so on. Basically, the, the idea is that people are linked together. People are linked together in a network, uh, well, whether they're friends or colleagues or, or whatever. I mean, you have, uh, you have these people visualized. You represent these people as part of a, a network. So you have Peter linked to Jane, who you know, could, could, could have two friends, Mary and John and so on. So you have edges linking nodes, and, and basically uh, the, the analysis comes from analyzing the mathematical properties of, of, of the network. Um, the, the, it's been used uh, quite, quite a lot more recently in areas like epi epidemiology, where you study how uh, uh, communicable disease spreads to simulations uh, to see how how it can spread over a network, uh, which is not random, but, but rather characterized by some of the mathematical properties of a social network. Uh, in economics, the economists jumped on this topic back in the uh, 1990s uh, when they were looking quite closely at social capital about how these uh, links between individuals were was something that, that kept the societies uh, that were that were capital that was capital that was invested in uh, by individuals within a society. So uh, frameworks for uh, conducting trades between individuals and so on are captured within the links. Um, the economists jumped on this. The the management people also jumped on this. They uh, they used this to analyze within an organization how certain uh, organizational silos uh, are silos and how they are linked to other organizational silos through, through particular individuals uh, and so on. Uh, so that it was a tool that was used quite extensively to facilitate or to, uh, to analyze the, the, the way an organization is mapped out in the context of organizational change uh, and change management. 